Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Vantage. Um, today is just going to be a quick review video. I'm not going to do anything too elaborate because it is a holiday and I want to get out of here. Anyway, and actually with that being said everyone, I hope you're having a happy uh, Memorial Day and to our friends up north and our viewers over the pond and anyone else across the world who's watching this, let's just hope you had a great weekend. Anyway, so let's get this started. So, some of us out there, I know we have uh, we thought about ways to display our comic books, to protect our comic books, and some of us just don't want to go the CGC or CBCS route to, you know, pay 30 bucks or whatever it is to actually get your comic book graded and slabbed and all that kind of good stuff just to not ever be able to touch it again. So there are some alternatives. And here's one of those alternatives I actually picked up for myself to check out. This is a comic book frame from our friends in BC at BCW, Current Comic Book Showcase. And it says it's supposed to have a recess that's six and three fourths inch by ten and a quarter to hold all current comic books. Of course, this won't do magazine size or oversize or any of that good stuff. Uh, let's see: crystal clear cover, attractive black back, V hook on back for allowing for hang allows for hanging on the wall. Can be stored in a BCW magazine box. Easy snap front. Oh, they're trying to get you to buy more stuff, just like CGC does. Easy snap front makes refreshing your comics easy. All right, so let's crack this open and let's check it out. Oh, and actually, this can be had at most local comic book stores for right around ten bucks a piece. All right, let's get that out of here. Gone. All right. So that's what we got. Not too shabby. Plastic actually feels just a little cheap. I don't know. Eh, it looks like we got some scuffing. I know they try to prevent that, but you can't help it a lot of times with plastic. Although a good bottle of plastic polish at your local Home Depot or Lowe's should be able to get all, all this out. Oh, actually a lot of isn't just getting off of my finger, so you can just try wiping it. Yeah, I mean, it's actually kind of nice I mean, for what it is. Um, yeah, I'll actually definitely use this and check it out. Oh, we got a couple little clip tops in up here. I don't know if we can see those. Where the comic book cover will actually snap into place. This must be the easy open section down at the bottom. I don't know how easy it Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's pretty easy. We got our little V-shape hanger around the back here for hanging up the comic. Yay. Inside, slightly textured. Probably just to hold the comic book a little bit better. But you know what? Let's try this out. Let's pop a comic book in here. And I have just the comic book to go in this thing. Dun dun dun. Major freaking bummer. Gotta do it. That actually fits really nice. We have some space around the top and around the sides. It feels like it actually could fit an oversize issue because we got a little gap here. So I would say if you're going to store it like this, don't do it. Because this thing is just going to bounce around in there. Unless it's an oversized issue. But if you're actually going to hang it up and not touch it again until you put a new one in there, that might be worth it. Alright. There we go. Major bummer. All his framed glory. That will be going on my wall. You know, honestly, for what it is, ten bucks for this thing actually isn't bad. I would actually probably buy a few more to display the comics. Like I said, as long as it's not getting jostled around, because that does slide around in there. I mean, there might be a way to put a shim, but then you would risk creasing the comic book or something. Um, yeah, I mean, I would hang a few of those on the wall. Looks good. And seriously, Major Bummer needed a frame. All right, so that's it for me. Hope everyone enjoyed their weekend and enjoy the holiday today. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the bell, the whole nine yards. And you know, if you don't do it for me, do it for me, Billy. Do it for Major Bummer. All right, everyone. Take it easy. Right there. 
that's where he belongs and that's where he shall stay place of honor on my office wall <laughs>